I could take on another skill that could create more freedom for my life. And just saying, I'm not going to go out and try and do it all perfectly right now. What I'm going to do for the next eight weeks, I'm going to do one, I'm going to create a little ritual. I'm going to do one thing a day to condition my mind, right? So that I get strong, so I follow through. I'm going to read something. I'm going to listen to something. I'm going to immerse myself. I'm going to go for an intense jog, or I'm going to go lift weights, but I'm going to do it consciously to get in a state where I'm going to follow through. That's number one, because people follow through when they're in state. Second, I'm going to get clear about why this is a must for me. Not because my back's against the wall, but because I want to master any life that could create some freedom. I'm not going to master it overnight, but I got the system, I got the plan. I'm going to do one thing a day, I'm going to work on one subject a week. And each week I'm going to make a little progress, and I'm going to get to a goal, whatever that is. I'm going to make a thousand bucks, my 300 bucks in a week. I'm going to get to my 2,500. That first 2,500 is the most excited. Once you break through, then it just becomes a game. The breakthrough happens by conditioning your mind every day, by feeding it a role model or a story. It's putting yourself in a peak state when you fall through by getting physically strong. It's creating a little ritual of doing a little bit each day, and then you get momentum. But the most important thing of all, why? Why is it a must for you? It doesn't have to be you're against the wall, but it has to be something you're hungry for, because the only difference in people is hunger. And if you're not hungry, get around people that are hungry and something will hit you. So people can change their standard by getting around where it's better. People can change their standard by getting associated with what's true, like the bills they gotta solve, the problems they gotta do it. Or they can do it because they're excited because it's something new they wanna take on. Everyone's different, but they gotta find the why and they gotta come up with some daily rituals to get them going and just do a step at a time. That's where you get momentum. So, you know, think about what's the holy grail between somebody taking action or not. It's one word, certainty. When somebody is absolutely certain, they, you know, the common word is believe, right? But, you know, you can believe at a general level or you can believe what's certain. When you're absolutely certain that if I do this, it's going to get that result and that result's going to change my life, you'll do it. When you think it absolutely is not going to work, you're never going to do it. The middle no man's land of maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, that's the piece that kills people, right? So if it's a must for you, you got to make it work. They came up with this model. It's like the holy grail of belief or the holy grail of momentum. It's like the difference between what makes the rich get richer and the poor get poor, right? And the difference we all know is mindset, but like, how's that built? You think about the first thing that determines whether you can do something or not, and it's potential. Like, what's the potential of a human being? For golly knows how many centuries, they're trying to run a four minute mile, Roger Bannister does it. How did he do it? Do you remember? Roger Bannister didn't just go physically practice. He made a shift in his head. He practiced in his head because he could never achieve it physically, so he had to change in his head first so that the result became certain enough he believed it, and then his body got him through. After Roger Bannister ran that four-minute mile, within two years, 37 people ran a four-minute mile, when no one in history had ever done it. Now, here's how it works. Most people have a belief about what their real potential is no matter what you tell them, and that affects how much action they take. And, of course, that affects the result, and then, ironically, that result reinforces their belief. Now, what if something could happen that could come along and fill you with a sense of absolute certainty? Not like, I believe, but I mean, where you know. If you get yourself in a state of certainty that this is going to work, I'm going to find the way, and if this doesn't work, I will make the way, then you tap a lot more potential. And when you're certain in your potential, you take massive action. When you take massive action, you really believe in something, you get great results. When you get great results, your brain goes, see, I told you I was a stud. I told you this thing would work out. Now you're even stronger. You tap more potential, take greater action, greater results. And we get momentum. That's why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. That's why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. So the core difference in people is how do you produce certainty when the world isn't giving it to you? We didn't change our potential, that was there. And it wasn't even taking more action. Taking more action with a belief it's not gonna work, it's not gonna change anything. We got results in our head that made us feel certain as if it had already happened. It's having that absolute certainty that makes you tap your full potential, take massive action, get massive results, be reinforced to have even stronger belief. This is what makes somebody a star at anything.